morning, or maybe a few clouds around, and uh, it's mild. It normally would be in the upper 40s, but we're at 62 degrees. Three mile an hour winds. They'll be gusting up this afternoon. We got a wind advisory that does affect Idaho Falls and uh, the uh, valley areas, the upper valley areas, and out into the desert. It's 66 in Pocatello, and the sun will be up this morning about uh, 20 minutes until 7. It's 74 in Salmon, 61 in Ketchum, 63 in Burley, and we got 50s on into Jackson. Uh, and these morning warm temperatures, I don't like it at all. I really want to get out and cut the grass, you know, get out there and uh, say hey to the neighbors with the sprinklers on. Uh, it is going to be hot again today. We're watching this hurricane. Hillary is going to slide up in between uh, California and Nevada, and it's going to stir some things up. They're preparing for flooding there, and it's a Category 4 now, which is 145 mile an hour sustained winds. Uh, so basically, you you double your speed as you're going down 15, and that's what you're looking at if you're you know doing 75 or so. Uh, we've got that wind advisory starts at noon today, and it will remain in effect until tonight. Some leftover showers this morning uh, into the southeastern highlands after that monsoonal flow erupted yesterday afternoon, and some calm conditions to begin with. Uh, in Jackson, it's a little chillier, and uh, we're going to be windy and warm still today. We'll be in the low 90s, upper 80s for a lot of us, and that lake, the late weekend shower uh, storm chance kicks in here with Hillary's remnants pushing up the west coast. A 40% chance for Sunday and into Monday, and some of this moisture will linger around here as well. And you'll notice the temperatures when I show you the extended forecast here. So some mountain showers this morning, uh, southeastern highlands with lower clouds because of the color there. The higher the tops and the clouds on the satellite picture, the brighter they are because they're closer to the camera, right? So the lower the clouds are, the darker they are when you look at a satellite picture, and there are a few sprinkles there on over toward Thane and Etna. Hot today, it's going to be in the 70s by the time we get into mid-morning, and then we'll be pushing the mid-80s at lunchtime today. So noticeably cooler by about 9 or 10 degrees. We hit 99 degrees yesterday in Idaho Falls, and we tied a record. It'll be in the 60s overnight tonight. We'll only be in the upper 80, so we're not going to breach that 90 degree mark on into Saturday for IF. Uh, we may in Pocatello, but hour by hour you shake this thing down and you may see a spotty shower or storm push across here into the southeastern highlands for the mid afternoon today on up toward Salmon. You get into Limhigh County, a little splash and dash here or there, late afternoon, calm. And then we fire things up with more moisture entering the picture and some of that heat with that convection and the remnants of. Hillary starts showing up on into the latter part of the weekend. And I'll zoom out and show you what I'm talking about. Just continuous moisture in here, filling up the holes that we've dug around the cities with the construction, right? It's not going to be a pleasant day on Sunday, I don't think. Uh, it'll be uh, gusting this afternoon to 20 plus miles an hour. The highlighted areas with the best potential for gust, maybe even up to 40, 50 miles an hour. We certainly did see that yesterday around storms and some of the influx of the wind. And we'll see more breezy conditions on into Saturday if you're trying to play golf. Just no, there are going to be some showers around. It's going to be in the upper 80s into Soda, about 91 into McCammon. You head into the hills. Uh, du Bois will be at 90 degrees, 90 in Rexburg, 80 in Jackson. A definitive drop in temperatures with the coolness that has uh, been pushed in with the monsoonal moisture. It'll be 93 in Aberdeen for the afternoon. 60s overnight, eight day forecast. It will be down into the low 80s by the time we get Hillary up and through here. So we'll be cooling things off and we'll have a good spotty moisture effect. And it, you know, it just doesn't seem to pay off. We get long stretches of hot days and then all of a sudden a hurricane shows up and wants to stick around for a week. Uh, we can't seem to time this thing out. Salmon 92 and then down to 56 tonight. We start to cool down and we'll drop things a good 15 degrees. Jackson's going to be in the mid 70s on Sunday with some sloppy weather and a 40% chance of storms continues on into Monday and Tuesday around here. Pocatello is going to be at 92 today and then we get to cool down into the weekend. Idaho Falls, it'll be bright and about 90 today, cooling down from 99 yesterday and only about 80 degrees for Sunday. Coming up, Scott.